lost tonight. Uh, you know, we played a good basketball team tonight. We knew that coming in. Uh, both of us came off tough losses uh, the other night as well. But, uh, you know, they just did a little bit better job of uh, executing offensively. You know, we got off to a slow start again tonight. That's something we got to figure out a way to get out of the blocks better. Uh, last couple games, um, I mean, I told my guys, I mean, I can't, I can't complain about the effort, the energy level. Uh, they kept fighting. Uh, we rebounded the ball, won the rebounding battle. There's a lot of good things to take away. But, uh, you know, for some reason, we're, uh, you know, struggling scoring the ball right now, which is, uh, you know, kind of new for us. We, we've never struggled scoring the ball. So we got to figure those things out offensively. I think at times we're, uh, you know, trying to force things a little too much. Uh, we got to let it come to us, move the ball, play better offensively. But, uh, you know, uh, we got to learn from this, move on. Uh, you know, we don't have time to feel sorry for ourselves. We got a quick turnaround, got another game in here on Monday night. So uh, we got to get ready, uh, get this one in the rearview mirror and move forward and try to get ready for Presbyterian on Monday. Well, like I said, I, I felt like we played hard the first half. You know, we just got frustrated offensively early on. I mean, credit Charleston. I mean, they're a good defensive team. You know, they do that to you. But, uh, you know, when we play the right way and, and move the ball, uh, the ball just wasn't moving like it needed to. But I thought we did a better job, a little bit better job in the second half. And defensively, I thought we had some really good stretches, you know, tonight against them. Uh, I'm, I'm pleased with, with the growth of our defense. Now we've got to get our offense back going again the way we like it. Well, they pressure the ball. You know, they, they're a very physical team on the ball. Uh, they're, they're very aggressive in ball screen defense. And, you know, they have good athletes, quick, a lot of quickness around the floor, which causes problems as well. Uh, well, Coach drew up some plays to get the offense moving, to get their bigs moving. And John was able to find me most of the time. So that was it, really running through the offense and trying to execute as, uh, as well as we can. No, it's not technically. I think it's just... Uh, you know, shooting's a lot about being in rhythm and catching the ball at the right time and delivering the ball at the right time. And I think there's times right now when we're holding the ball a little too long, uh, looking for, for things, you know, rather than, you know, when you got two guys or three guys on you, we got to move the ball, find the open man. And then, then guys are in rhythm when they catch it. So uh, I think a lot of it's that. It's just, uh, you know, uh, we got a lot of new players we're still working in as well. Uh, we got a, a core group of guys, but we're also mixing in a lot of new players. So it takes a little time to, to get all that flowing the way it needs to, but we got to, you know, keep working at it every day. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of good things I'm seeing. Uh, we just got to, you know, do more good things. Well, I mean, Najee's been uh, great all year. Uh, whatever role he's been asked to play, you know, he comes in, gives energy. Uh, that's one of the things that he, he does for us. He, he talks on the floor, uh, you know, and tonight he, uh, he was able to make some shots for us as well. And, uh, you know, he just, you know, he's a, he's a leader for us out there on the court. And, you know, we, we thrive when he's, you know, bringing that energy level uh, to the game. Yeah, well, we got, uh, like I said, a quick turnaround. We got to play Presbyterian on Monday night, so we don't have a lot of time to sit around and think about this one. We got to get ready tomorrow for that game. Uh, then we play again Friday. Uh, high point, and then uh, then right after Thanksgiving, we uh, got Davidson coming in here. Yeah, we'll be they'll be around. They'll be around. It'll be Thanksgiving at the Price Price household this year. Not not let a lot of guys home basketball. You don't get a lot of Thanksgiving dinners at home. Like Coach Price said, it was really really active. They was pressuring the ball in the gaps. It was re really hard, difficult at times to get open. But overall, it just comes down to our execution. Um, we ran enough sets. He caught enough plays for us to, to score the ball. The ball didn't go in the bucket. We took a loss. So we'll move on next game. Monday night, we'll get a win. I mean, Milos, is, uh, he's going to be a really good player for us. You know, uh, you know he, he reminds me of Najee a lot just from an energy, energy level. He raises the level of our energy on our team every time he's on the floor. Uh, you know, he was in, you know, missed some gimmies tonight, missed some free throws. He's, he's, a, young, he's a young player. I mean, he was just was diagnosed with mono, you know, a little over four four weeks ago, you know. So we didn't even know if he'd be playing at this point. So, you know, his conditioning and all that stuff stuff's got to get better. So he's he's got a he's got a big upside. We really like Milos as a player, and uh, tonight was just one of those nights. He had some had some good opportunities. They just they just didn't go for him, and and uh, that happens when you're a young player.